Hello everyone, this is my 3D printed smoke grenade and as soon as I printed it, my life changed forever. I've already made white smoke grenades, colored ones and even a tear gas grenade based on this design in one of my previous videos. This by the way, is an updated version that assembles without using hot glue. Everything here is threaded, which is very convenient for testing. If you're new to the channel, check out the video where I explain how it works and where you can find the print files. So, I was sitting here thinking about what else to do with it and I thought, why not make a thermite grenade? I must provide a small disclaimer. I am doing this purely out of curiosity and for informational purposes. This is not a tutorial on how to make a thermite grenade and the full process is not shown here. I do not recommend replicating this. It may be illegal. Believe me, you don't need a thermite grenade. No normal person needs a thermite grenade. But I am not a normal person. I live in Ukraine, where such things might be necessary. Thermite grenades are typically used by the military to destroy equipment and materiel. For example, when retreating from positions, such a grenade can destroy equipment that cannot be recovered. Military thermite grenades usually contain not thermite, but so-called thermate, essentially the same thermite but with an added oxidizer, usually barium nitrate. This mixture has an elevated burning temperature and increased incendiary capability. The most commonly used thermate is TH3 and its modifications. This is what I will make. Making thermite is not difficult. You just need to weigh and mix the powders. This is aluminum powder. This is red iron oxide. And here is the barium nitrate. At home, it can be replaced with potassium nitrate. The effect will be approximately the same. Next, this powder must be pressed into the grenade. Initially, I tried dry pressing using a plunger, also 3D printed. I didn't like dry pressing. The mixture was very dusty and the strength of the pressed thermite was unsatisfactory. So I decided to first granulate the thermite and then press it. For granulation, I used a 5% solution of polyvinyl alcohol in water. Here is the dried granulated mixture. I pressed this. This time the thermite strength was much higher, which I liked. This is roughly how it's done in the industry, although they use significantly higher pressing pressure. But I don't have a press, I only have a hammer. Thermite is difficult to ignite. So for ignition, I used magnesium-based thermite. It ignites quite easily from a gunpowder fuse, stop-in, and can itself ignite almost anything. So I pressed a little of it on top of the main thermite. Here is the grenade test. It burns quite similarly to a real military thermite grenade. It leaves a puddle of molten iron behind. They say it can melt through armor, but that is unlikely. Watch Mythbusters to see how much thermite you need to melt through anything. That's all for today. Goodbye.